Hello, my name is Parviz Jamalov and I'm a Chivnik officer based here in Dushanbe, Tajikistan. Today I've been asked to share how we approach promoting Chivnik digitally for potential applicants in Tajikistan. I really hope that you will find our examples useful. Here we go. So to promote Chivnik last year, we created a special video where we gave an advice to all applicants on how to write an effective Chivnik essay. So, we posted this video to our Facebook and Instagram pages, and it generated lots of impressions. This video has 5,500 views on Facebook and 450 views on Instagram. As soon as it was released on social media, we started to receive lots of compliments and shoutouts from Facebook and Instagram folks in form of comments, reposts or private messages. The inspiration behind this video came from our customers potential Chivnik applicants from Tajikistan. So before the COVID-19 era, we used to run massive presentations throughout the country, nationwide. And before we did that, we would have normally asked, just we run a pre-event survey asking, what do you want the Chivnik officer particularly to cover during the presentation? And as a result, we received hundreds of queries where people would stipulate uh, their request. For example, could you please tell us more about essay writing? or how do you actually give a successful Chivnik interview. So, in addition to a standard Chivnik presentation, we used to deliver a small seminar on essay writing or interviewing, and actually that was something that our audience has greatly valued. It was this small element that helped us garner more than 150 people per each Chivnik presentation. Another great way to promote Chivnik digitally is to host a webinar or an event. I am an ardent public speaker with more than 12 years of experience. And now I would like to share my top 5 tips on how to effectively engage your audience when public speaking, whether face-to-face -face or online. And tip number one, work hard on your introduction. Try to think about some creative ways of making your introduction compelling. In the art of public speaking, it's called a hook or an attention catcher. For example, a couple of years ago we produced a video that was then totally viral. The video was called The Chivnik Pronounced Challenge. Chivnik? 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 Chevning? Sevunnaying. Knevning? Once we recorded this video, just before my presentation, I played this video on a very huge screen, and of course, you know, the reaction was priceless. People were laughing and smiling, and this automatically released the tension. And then, after playing that video, I went directly to the stage, and the way I started my presentation was, so, how do you pronounce this word? And all the audience just exclaimed in unison, Chivnik! And the tip number two, listen to the audience. Uh, so here we're talking about ethics in public speaking, which is a very essential part. And what I'm implying to is that a good speaker should be able to listen to the audience. That is understanding where they come from. What are their values? What do they believe in? What is their social and demographic situation? And other essential components. So that's why, prior to delivering a presentation, I try to collect as much information as possible about my audience. Understanding your audience helps you tailor your language style. So for example, uh, once I realized that 90% of our achieving audience are basically young people aged between uh, 21 to 35, I actually indulged myself in using my sense of humor and that was something that my audience really cherished and it turned out to be a very effective tool. And the tip number three, plan ahead. Prepare your core messages beforehand. Think about what might prevent people from your country applying to achieving scholarship. So this year I invested a great deal of time shaping my core script and preparing in advance to some of the questions the audience might ask me 
including the subconscious ones. For example, here in Tajikistan, we had a case when uh, we all know that Chibnik does not discriminate on age basis. But as my study showed, it was exactly something Tajik people were concerned with. So I prepared myself beforehand and responded, and I highlighted that in my presentation that no matter how old you are, you can always be eligible to apply for Chibnik scholarship. And the tip number four, at your webinar, keep up the positive spirit. We don't need to reinvent the wheel here, but factually this is very important. I know it might be quite a challenge you know, to emanate energy when speaking to the camera, just like what I'm doing now, but this is something that you have to do. You have to create that, you know, that, that positive spirit around the webinar, and at the end of the day, you will be rewarded because your audience will love it. So try to be positive and try to transform your energy even through the Wi-Fi waves. And finally, make your presentation interactive. Try to engage with your audience as much as possible. Well, aim at keeping you at least 30% of your presentation in the form of a dialogue. How do you do that? Well, try to create instant polls, quizzes, Q&A sessions, and I will give you an example how I did that here in Tajikistan. For example, when delivering my Chimnik presentation, I really like using a software called Mentimeter.com. So what I do, I just create instant quizzes and polls on Mentimeter.com and then ask all people from the audience to use their smartphones to take part in the quiz or give me their instant feedback. And this works just fine. For example, last year I made a short chimney quiz that followed my presentation just to check how well people listened to me. And then I ran a quiz and handed out symbolic rewards to the top scorers of my quiz. And guess what? People really liked that. So those were the 5 tips which I hope you all found useful. Thanks for watching my video and I wish you to all of us a productive day. Thank you.